time of death, there are something called deathbed coincidences. In these, the dying person, at the moment of death, because we've got data to support that, goes and visits somebody to whom they're emotionally connected. They have to be emotionally connected. And they give them a message. And the message, the way they give the message, depends on how the person who's receiving the message are. If you're awake, then you tend to feel the person's presence. You feel something awful may have happened to them. You have to contact them and find out what's going on. You ve they very seldom give a message then. But if you're asleep, then you get a narrative dream. You're told a story. You're visited by the dying people, and they will say, um, I'm okay, please don't worry about me. It's all all right. And then they leave. So these are very, very sure, reassuring to to the family and the relatives. And then at the time of death and just after death, there are a whole lot of things which happen. People see light in the room over the time that you're dying. Other people see uh, things leaving the body. Other people experience the fact that their clocks may have stopped at the time of death. So there are lots of things that many of them are quite non-local. Animals are very common in the dying phase and birds particularly, and we've got a lot of stories of birds um, that seem to be carrying the people who uh, the relatives feel, carrying the spirit of the dying person. Some people uh, in the stories we have associate this going process with a change in temperature in the room, and sometimes with a feeling that something has left. And then that seems to be the end of the dying process. So there are lots of exciting things.